This hour, we begin with breaking news on the coronavirus. Just a short time ago, a public health state of emergency has been issued here in Florida. A very serious situation with Governor Ron DeSantis and his executive order saying that two people in the Bay Area have tested presumptively positive for coronavirus. Now, this all unfolding in just the last hour or so, so we're still gathering a lot of the details about this. But here's what we do know. One of those persons is from Hillsborough County, and we know that the other person is from Manatee County. In that executive order, the governor says, quote, because of the foregoing conditions, I direct the state health officer and Surgeon General to declare a public health emergency here in the state of Florida. We also learned this weekend three Department of Health labs will now be able to test for the coronavirus in Florida. And one of those labs is in the city of Tampa. The others are in Miami and in Jacksonville. State health officials say that this will cut the wait time significantly for, for results from three to five days down to one to two days before those tests had to be sent off to the federal labs. Intercise Marco Villarreal has been covering this for us, and he's live in Manatee County, where one of those patients is from. Marco? Well, good evening, Rod and Melanie. Tonight we are getting a lot of details, but we are learning more about the two presumptive cases here in our area. First to the one in Manatee County. According to the health department, we understand that person is an adult. They have no travel history to countries identified for restricted travel by the CDC, and this person did seek health care, is isolated, and will continue to remain isolated until cleared by public health officials. The second patient is an adult from Hillsborough County with a history of travel to Italy. This person is isolated, will continue to remain isolated until cleared by public health officials. Now, all evening long, we have been seeing this letter making the rounds on social media and into our WFLA newsroom. It says that a person who tested presumptively positive is at a hospital in Sarasota. We have not been able to independently confirm the veracity of the letter, but we have called the CDC, the Florida Department of Health, and the hospital itself. Given the late breaking announcement from the governor, it's something we're definitely going to continue to keep our eyes on. Now, Here's what you need to know about protecting yourself against the coronavirus. We're told that you have to wash your hands as often as possible. Stay away from people who are sick and avoid touching your eyes, your mouth, and your nose. And one thing that I want to mention as well, yesterday I did a story and I went to several stores right here in the Tampa Bay area. It looks like a lot of shelves are seeing uh, sanitizer, Face masks are sold out, but I reached out to several of those stores, Target, Walgreens, CVS, uh, Walmart. All of those stores are telling me they are working as quickly as possible to make sure all the stores that are seeing these sold out items get what they need. And one thing I'll mention as well, Melanie, again, it was the hand sanitizer that was out, but I saw plenty of soap, which yeah. is perfect because that's what we need to be doing right now, washing our hands. Good old fashioned soap and water. Marco Villarreal live for us tonight in Manatee County. Marco, thank you very much. Moments ago, we did hear from the Hillsborough County Health Department on this issue. They tell us that overall immediate threat to the public, though, despite these two announcements to, uh, about these two cases tonight, does remain low. Meanwhile, tomorrow, Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to hold a news conference. A lot of folks will be watching that. Mm -hmm. It will take place at the Florida Department of Health branch in laborator laboratory in Tampa. And that news conference is scheduled for 10.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. The state surgeon, the lieutenant governor, the deputy Deputy Secretary of Health, the Department of Education Commissioner. Lots of folks will be there, obviously, to talk about this as it involves all aspects of municipalities. And of course, you can count on Nate on your side to be there as well. We'll bring you those developments as, as they happen, both on air and online.